Hello, hello! Are we live? Um, welcome to another stream. I'm live streaming. I do it a lot. Um, couple of random things to note. Uh, I feel like the light isn't making much of a difference. I feel like this is just a waste of energy, so why not switch it off? Conserve power. I mean, I know there's a massive backlight, but you can still see my face clearly, which oddly enough is coming from that light. I know it's pretty awkward and I should probably pull the curtain too, but the focus of the stream is not on my face. It is for now, but it won't be, hopefully, for the majority of it. Also, look at my hair. Let's take my headphones off for a moment. I hope the audio balance is okay. It looks, it looks pretty good. I'm going to turn the music down slightly. Um, but I think, I think that's going to be good, yeah. Um, I know it looks fine now, but my hair's getting too long. I've started wearing my bandana again. I dug this thing out, and, uh, well, I don't know. It could be worse. But, uh, do I need to wear it? Because I've been using my headphones as a headband, so do I really need it? I don't know. I'm gonna wear it, though, just for this stream. I'm just gonna see how that looks, I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of things I need to, uh, mention and talk about, but I, I don't have to do all of that now. I just want to mention, uh, one thing, though. If you go to my girlfriend's Instagram, good old Lucy, Chubbs Deuce, she, uh, actually... Technically, fuck off. Can I not? Do I have to sign in? Thank you. There's a specific piece of art she did ages ago. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. I'll probably find it on here more easily, to be honest. It was. What was it? Was it in here at any point? Mr. Matt Fanner. Here it is! Yeah, this is what I wanted to look at. Lucy drew me! <laughs> One time, she drew, uh, this exact look, uh, one time, and I was like, ah, oh, wow, I know you're just drawing your boyfriend, but that's technically fan art, so, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, poor Lucy, she's so self-critical, guys, go give her some love. Go give Chubb some love. Send her, um, compliments. Just everyone right now, everyone right now, go into Chubb's Deuce's direct messages and just, uh... <laughs> Do a little trolling. <laughs> what if we all just collectively went into Lucy's DMs and just sent her like different random compliments about her and her art and just see how she responds? <laughs> I've already done this before. I probably feel really bad, but it's just a troll. She'll probably catch on anyway. Uh, so it's like, it's a lose lose. Um, anyways, um, but I just want to make you guys aware that literally two weeks from today, I should probably do a vlog about this. I'll do it before next Sunday. Uh, I'm going on hiatus uh, for just a few days because uh, uh, I really need a holiday. I'm doing great, but I have had this illness, which is pretty minor symptom wise, but it's fucking over my sleep pattern. And it's making me like uh, just like it's just gone on for weeks. I need a holiday. So. I'm gonna ha make that happen. I mean, I'm not mad. Happen. My parents just happened to decide to go on holiday now, and I've agreed to it. That's all that's happened. But yeah, it's good timing. Anyway, Springtrap, Lily, Nubert, Petition Benzo. What are you petitioning for? Uh, Ethan, True Player, Livy. Uh, nice to see you all. Thank you all so much for joining. So, hello, hello, are we live? This is the same thing that Mr. Iplia did that one time, and I'll talk about the stream topic in a moment. I'm really sorry for the slow start. No one seemed to comment on this, but I started the stream like 10 minutes late. It should have started 20 minutes ago, but the stream's only been going on for 10 minutes, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I will get on with it now. Get on with it! Um, but yeah, uh, Nubit's going to hospital. <laughs> I got a little holiday, commonly known as the hospital. Oh man, I uh, hope that goes well for you, dude. Um, you injured? Or just someone else? Doesn't really matter, I just hope that goes well. Um... And yeah, the QOTD is kind of serious. We'll talk about that, guys. Again, today, obviously, we got a QOTD. We got a charity shout-out, which you can see more clearly here if I'm not distracting you. We also... Uh, light goal, watch our goal, all that good stuff, okay? So we're going to get straight into the shenanigans. But I just want to catch up with chat. Uh, Yoshi's girl, welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you ready for tomorrow, Matt? What's happening tomorrow? I deadass don't remember. 27th. What's happening tomorrow? I actually don't remember. Nubit's going for an operation? Dude. That sounds... What? An operation? Man. I hope that goes well. <laughs> F.E.R. release? For real? Yeah, I don't understand. What's, hap what's happening tomorrow? Matt is a ninja now. Samurai Matt, yeah. A little trolling. Lamau, yes. What happened on this day four years ago? Uh... 
four years, so that's 2019. No, one, two, three, 2018. Um, something I do know is that Doki Doki Literature Club uh, Plus re released on June 30th, which is also the same day this year that um, Cuphead's Delicious Last Course is released. I have no idea. Um, what FNAF fan game is your favorite? I can be such a troll right now. Five Nights at Candies 2. No! Afton built. No! Five Nights at Treasure Island, the original. <laughs> no. Uh, UCN's release date? I'm sorry, dude. I, sh uh, I don't remember release dates. I don't remember. But yeah, UCN's four years old. Wow. Crazy. Okay, uh, let's get on with this. So, today we're looking at some auto generated literature. And let me just show you what I've written here. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Debate Direct. Today I delve into Invocate, which creates text using an artificial neural network from writing prompts. The first question of the AI Weekly at IBM series is on Invocate. The premise of Invocate is to add a collaborative feature of software used to write code. In the world of software development, you need to explain why you've made certain decisions. You want to justify your code decisions in a more objective manner than you could do with a straight up reasoning. After all, people can be easily fooled into thinking that, even though you implemented a functionality, that functionality won't work the way you want it to. <laughs> and try it for yourself. now. This stream probably isn't going to be very long, so I'm going to do something bonus, which is FNAF related, before you ask, at the end of the stream. Right now though, I just want to look at this. State of the art text generation. Infocate offers a web interface and API for AI based text generators. Whether you're a novelist looking for inspiration or an app developer, there's something for you. And uh, yeah, you can see um, they're basically, it's literally, it's exactly what it says. And there's a free demo. Now I need you guys to understand that you do have to uh, sign in, create a, uh, ooh, create a new, like, an account and, like, pay money to use this, um, you know, because it, it, it's not a service that they can, like, you know, provide for free. It took a lot of time and effort and money to produce this. Uh, and I just want to give a shout out to Markiplier, not that he needs it, but just want to point out Markiplier because it was his video, Laughing at AI Generated Stories, that inspired me to do this stream. And before you ask, I am thinking of doing a Dali Mini uh, Debate Direct as well. I think that's something that would be worth checking out. And yeah, I really need to finish his prop hunt videos. I didn't actually watch those, I just clicked on them. But yeah, um, Markiplier is a legend. I'm sure you already know who he is. Go check him out. Go subscribe if you aren't already. And uh, yeah, uh, right now, um, I just realized something, guys. When I change my volume, you can see the song playing. If you guys ever want to know what the name of a specific song is on my debate direct playlist, as that sometimes happens, I will, if you ask, I will just adjust the volume so you can see the title and stuff. I'll show it on here. But yeah. So, Infokit. And you only get 10,000 free characters each week, but it resets every week. I uh, had to use some of these for like, the thumbnail and stuff, or I was going to because I was testing it. And I only had like 7.5 thousand left. Because you really don't get that many, but it's reset because you get a new 10,000 every week. So that's brilliant. We have only 10,000 characters to play with today, though, guys. So I'm going to start by trying an example. Lord of the Rings. For 200 characters. So as you can see, you can use this to write, like, fiction. You can write use this as, like, a prompt for, like, fan fiction. And it, like, it writes it for you. The wind blew hard, causing Aragorn to stumble. His sword hit the ground. All around him, the wind howled. You know? Let's try a different prompt. Let's try, uh, if we can just get rid of all this. We could try, um, what's Elon Musk's debut man? No, Pang for Trip to Mars is more interesting. Remember to pack these items. That may be helpful for your long journey. This article will teach you everything you need to know to ensure that you make it to the other side of the universe alive. Picture this. You're looking at it, and, like, it keeps going. I can click generate text to keep going, but I don't want to waste our characters. As you can see, we've already used up a few hundred of them. So, let's get into this, and let's try and create some hilarious AI-generated text, because again, this thing is still undergoing testing, that's why this like free public demo exists, and it's kind of crazy. Uh, it's pretty stable, but it's pretty hilarious. So, if any of you have suggestions for prompts, uh, put a message in chat, put like, hashtag prompt, uh, or on it so that I can like see that it's a message I put like hashtag prompt at the start at the end of the message and I will input that message and if you guys also want the characters to go on for a specific length you can let me know uh, but I'm gonna keep it down right now I'm gonna keep it down to 200 because I think that's you know 
What is this? You can add keywords, start building advanced settings. Oh yeah, there's some more. I don't know what sampling temperature means or nuclear sampling, but I'm going to just reset everything for now. So, yeah. For now though, I am just going to, uh, you can press tab and put jump, which has escape, stop and revert. We're just going to, we're just going to experiment with this basically. So here we go. Um, so yeah, um, state of the art. <laughs> yeah. Uh, security breach for an Xbox. Wow. Wonder who will actually play that. Um, it feels like it's quite dark for me. I might actually switch the light on just cause. I don't know. It feels dark for me. Yeah, let's save energy. And also, Jesus Christ, let's fix my hair. My hair looks trash, dude. It's just flopping about everywhere. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, we've got some prompts. Ethan says, Mr. Matt comes to you. <laughs> oh, you can write some really awful things in here, by the way. I just want to say... In Markiplier's video, the bot just went insanely racist out of nowhere on one of the prompts, and you can write some pretty uh, erotic stuff with this. So, the bot will mirror the person inputting stuff. I want to, you know, I know I, I this is not a stream for kids, but this is also not an 18 plus stream, so I'm not going to put in anything that looks like, you know, it's going to generate something suspicious. So, Mr. Matt comes to you, he tells you to stay hydrated. All right, let's see this. And I'm going to generate that for 200 characters. What does it say? He says to eat protein. He says to sleep regularly. And he's reviewing the What the fuck? What the fuck? I did not think it would be that funny right off the bat. He says to eat protein. He says to sleep. I thought it says. It says, he says to sleep regularly. And then immediately he says, and these instructions do not involve lying down. <laughs> so you gotta sleep standing up. You gotta sleep sitting down. We're not talking about visiting doctors who are certain to recommend medically approved sleep. Should I generate another 200 characters, guys? Should I keep going with this? Maybe I should do polls. I think it's gonna be quick if I just ask you guys in chat, though. And Nuba, I see your prompt. I'll do it. Do, do you guys want- Do you guys want to see- you know, I know. I'm gonna, I, I want to keep going. Just for 100 characters. What I'll do for each one of these. If it's interesting, I'll go another 100 characters. We're not talking about visiting doctors and sleep solutions. We're talking about a guy who wasn't paying attention to the scientist's patient. Well, now I have to know. Scientist's patients were giving him because he didn't know what they meant. The following trust- Okay, this is getting boring now. Let's start over. Because again, I do not want to waste these precious characters. We're already one tenth down. So I'm going to do your prompts first so that you guys have that chance to have whatever you want on here. I want your prompts first before anything I put in. Because uh, again, I already watched Markiplier, so I'm kind of out of ideas. And again, very limited characters. Um, so yeah. It uh, feels good to have an organized desktop. Yes, Lily, very good. Um, Mr. Matt, you guys will start with me. Mr. Matt was playing a certain game, wink wink. Um, when suddenly the stream. The thing is, the bot is amazing at picking up context clues as well. It will adjust its tone for this, I think, to sound like a novel, to sound like fiction, even though before it sounded like, you know, um, non-fiction, and you know, it can change the tone completely. It's amazing. Uh, when suddenly the stream of bluff <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. The context clues are not existent. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Someone edit like dark music over this. And, um, you know, uh, like, you know, make fan fiction. Like, goddamn. Mr. Matt was playing a certain game when suddenly the stream of blood from the wound on my head reappeared. I remembered that this had happened before, after some fall I had taken from a tree on day one. It had been something like that, as a matter of fact. <laughs> that sounds like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? That's so cursed, man. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna keep going with that. Uh, Among Us comes to life. Oh boy. That's what you want, Lily. Among Us comes to life. I'm gonna capitalize the U. And yeah, Jay, please just change your username. Yo, Ethan! You sussy boy. Alright, Among Us comes to life gives us when Philip Ross, a leading human rights attorney, mounts an unprecedented legal challenge to the first extremist group to ever be permitted to operate on American soil, said the campaign's 
Indie. Okay, that was kind of boring. I'm gonna skip that. Um, right. Ethan, I will honor the man's request to say, Matt and Lucy go to the bedroom. <laughs> they begin to get down with some. I know it says interesting activity to say this, but I think it's funnier if I leave it like that. Or even, I could do this. I think that one's funnier. I think that's the funniest, because, I mean... Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This bot is capable of writing anything a human is, so I'm not gonna show this, just in case. Uh, if this is, like, 18+, plus, I'm not gonna show it on the stream. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you in DMs, Ethan, because you're a big boy, and I know you, uh... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> So, they begin to get down with some... Oh, the f oh okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thought we were in trouble for a moment there, but we're all good. Uh, it was not that exciting. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. I'm going to take off the bandana. This thing is... Oh, boy. I need to, like, readjust. I need to, like, readjust my bandana. It's, like, it's too... I don't know. But yeah, uh, they get down with some intimate activities. That's very close to what Ethan said. <laughs> I love they kiss. There is some great making out. <laughs> the champagne kicks in. Why is champagne involved? Lucy hates alcohol. Clearly, I have the one who's been drinking. She is getting tired. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I kind of want to generate another hundred characters. I I I'm trusting this not to go, like, disgusting. How do I look, by the way? Oh, I look like an absolute sped. I look like an idiot. Whatever. That will have to do, guys. Um, let's generate another 100 characters. <laughs> Gives Lucy a hug. Saying he likes to get in the hot tub. <laughs> like to get in the hot tub? Alright, I don't want to waste more characters on this, but this is fucking hilarious. I'm gonna- I'm gonna put a pin in that one. I- I- I want to see where that goes, but like... We're running out of characters. I love that. Ayo. We're close as hell to 69. That reminds me! That actually reminds me. There's something I, um... Wanted to ask you guys about. Uh, and I completely- Oh my god, I completely forgot. I forgot... Totally. Oh no! Guys, I recently made a community post on Matt's to Mist. And I just remembered that there was actually a reason, other than shameless self promo to do that, that I wanted to ask about. Are there any other, um... God, I want to fix this. Are there any other numbers you specifically want to see on the Countdown to 1000 on the Matt's to Mist channel? Hold on, I need to sign out and go edit this real quick. Also, uh... My mum delegated my Discord since she heard one of my friends joked about calling my mum a hoe. Oof, nasty. Might not be impressed on what I just got. What is it now, Lily? What is it? Heroine Hemongus! I'll do it, Jay. That sounds hilarious. I'm gonna do one. So, Heroine! Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. He mon Gus. Uh, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark, one. Here we go! <laughs> what the f- what the fuck? What? I, I- I really don't think the bot knew what to do with that information. While I was struggling to digest this info and digest it quickly, Xabo started shouting something about me and the ethereal plane. Xabo, the hell I will! What the hell, Xabo? Me. <laughs> Okay, well that was bullshit. Let's try another one. I see DJ's prompt. Uh, I like how jo a DJ set up a classic, um, uh, a man walks into a bar joke. I hope this does like a, you know, a uh, man walks into a bar type thing. A person walks into a store to get some hydration. I'm not sure why you're capitalizing on those words. Please follow through with the joke. Come on, classic joke, not knock Sam. That store doesn't want to charge a person a ton of money for a bottle of water, so they put a large number on the bottle of water. The hydration, wa the hydration water is going to make the person go to the doctor. <laughs> yes, me, the doctor. The hydration water. <laughs> the hydration water. Wow. Um, 
Yeah, I just remembered something, guys. Because I actually, I didn't, um, this is aimed at the people who aren't already in the community. Which is why I didn't ping this on the Hydration Nation. But I might actually change that now. I, I need to go edit this. Hold on. So, I, I made a post recently. Sorry for the, uh, plug. But I just want to jump onto this real quick because it's relevant. I'm getting towards a thousand subscribers, as you know. I've had a big boost thanks to that ambience color. So, best of the Squeezie tab. Wow. Um. I'm going to mention this. Um. Hold on. I just need to write this for a second. Also, are there any specific numbers you would like to see in the countdown to 1,000 subscribers series? Let me know ASAP. And then whoever said, yeah, okay, that's all I need to edit. I might actually add the playlist. Yeah, I just want to make you guys aware of this. I completely forgot about this. I was making that post like there was a reason. And I don't remember. And now I remember. And now I'm peeved. Also, you guys should watch this. This is gold. This is very important. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to just uh, share that there. Post that. Close that. Uh, get the link for this. And then actually ping people on Hydration Nation. I'm going to do that real quick. I'm gonna sign back into my account. Sorry for the deviation, guys. So Lucy sent me some DMs. Maybe I should tell her about the stream, because I don't know. Uh, I should do auto-generated debate about AI or something. That's literally what I'm doing right now. That's exactly what I'm already doing, my dude. Um, hold on. Countdown to 1k subs. No, what should I put on this to make it interesting? Would you like to see a specific meme on that playlist? Time is running out. Vague, but not that vague. Um, not on. Added to. Added to. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Curiosity's killing me. I'm gonna know what Lucy's DM me. I bet she's seen this news that Matthew, you naughty boy. Oh no. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, she's just a vet, guys. Can I share? Can I, I'm sure she won't mind. Can I share with you what she just sent me, guys? This is what she sent me. This woman is precious. We must protect. This is why I want- we should all DM her right now. If I think of a good reply to this, and I'm like, uh, we all, we all just send it collectively. That'd be so funny. She's so nice. What, what a lovely woman. Very nice individual. Uh, <laughs> the heck. I should probably- I should probably reply to that. I'm not gonna reply yet. I, I'm gonna try and think of a really good reply. I'm gonna do a little trolling. Uh, because that would be pretty epic. No! I should send her an AI-generated response! Oh, That would be so funny! Guys! Guys! I- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So- Oh, hold on a second. I gotta send her an AI-generated response. Oh my god, that would be so funny. What is this? Get rid of that. Uh, sign in, please. Thank you. Okay. Also, I'm not forgetting about this. This is too funny, but I want to do this. Uh, I don't want to have to use that and run out of characters. Let me keep catching up with chat. Scratch, welcome. Isn't champagne... Excuse me? What? Matt stops what he's doing and yeah, but stop there. Ugh, ugh, gross, dude. Bot writing some fan fiction. It's all Ethan. Ethan prompted it. We need 2763. Funny name for 25. Why 25? But yeah, that's like Zabba, right? That thing just generated code for me. I'll see if it actually compiles all the actual shit. The <gasps> Guys, the FNAF law. We should get, like, the bot to explain the FNAF law. That'd be so funny. Jesse, did you find out the FNAF law? Jesse, have you solved the Five Nights at Freddy's law? That's a great prompt. That's a fantastic prompt. I should definitely use that one. Thanks, Jay. Okay. Jesse, have you solved the FNAF law? 
You haven't got to do anything. <laughs> Yo, you haven't got to do anything special, Mr. White. Let's be honest. That's all it needs. There are people asking for some additional background to be given. And if you're keen to do that and can provide... So okay, this is bullshit. Um... The FNAF law- I just- I gotta know, guys. I gotta know. My theory sense is tingling. Prepare for disappointment, though. The FNAF law explained- Hold on, no. Um... What is the true FNAF law? A full explanation. Why did I capitalize full? Alright, here we go. Here we friggin' go. I just want to see what it comes up with. Is this puzzle- <laughs> the, f the fuck? What? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is kind of fnaf -y, but like- this is, uh, this is the truth of the FNAF law, guys. No one knows. It's just some, uh, bullshit. Okay. A dad went into the store and bought some milk and cereal. Oh, wait, no, not a selection, not the selection. No, 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 no. There. Thank you for that. Get means something go wrong. <laughs> A lady also got milk and cereal. They talked for a minute. The man paid for the items. The two of them started walking towards the entrance. It was then the man noticed the reflection of his boner. <laughs> no, um, I'm curious. I'm going to keep going with this reflection of a car. The car followed him. <laughs> What's the matter? The man asked. I need to take to my house. <laughs> Yo, this is actually quite an interesting premise. This is like a spy thriller. Even the bot can't solve the FNAF lore, it just completely went off with some, like, you know, fantasy bullshit. Matt, what is it, Lily? Maybe turn down the temperature? Yeah, what is the sampling temperature? Uh, let's try, um, let's try a response to Lucy's message with different temperatures. Hold on. Alright, so... <clears throat> Hold on. I'm gonna type- I'm typing a response to one comment. So to the- hope the stream goes well with the emojis. I'm gonna say- I'm gonna give the prompt. The prompt is gonna be, uh, thank you. For all the support. Hi, just wanted to update my blog. <laughs> so, I can copy that and put it into Lucy's DM. So what if I turn the temperature down? What is sampling temperature? If I do thank you again, what's the difference? Thank you for sharing your story. I will keep you in my place. <laughs> so sorry for your loss. And then if we put the temperature up, what is the difference? Just put it all on the clip clipboard. Thank you, community for- What the fuck? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna test out each- I'm gonna do all three of these. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, uh... <laughs> None of these are hilarious. And I don't want to waste characters. So I feel like I, I might try something else. How about this instead? Because none of these are really very good. How about just this? I'm gonna go back to normal temperature. I don't know what the temperature thing does. But, uh, it, it's pretty funky. It just kind of changed it slightly. It was weird. What about this? <laughs> the fuck? She also opened that she's frustrated with reactionaries. That's gonna be a good one. That's a good one. I'm using that. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to show this off. Shit! Private DMs! Alright. Okay. It's not showing anything that I haven't already shown you guys. So, I put this bit in, um, the, that. What if I generate another hundred? Let's just keep going. And then when she asks, what the fuck, I'm just gonna send that. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be so funny. Why is Lily always DMing me? What do you want? What is this? No! It actually generated the code. Infocat actually generated workable code. Holy crap. That's impressive. 
Yeah, okay, wow. Right, let's get back on this. We've only got 6946 characters left, guys. I don't want to waste any of these. <coughs> so let's just see. <clears throat> Nuba, I skipped your prompt. I saw the weather outside. It was bad. I left my house. And that's when I saw it. Generate for 200. What's nuclear sampling? What does this even mean? There's a question mark. Wait, what? Something about probability? Controls the randomness and creativity of sampling? What? I don't understand what any of this means. So if I do this, what if I did the same thing again with like a much lower sampling? Where's Winter? Did she pirate turn sobbing? Oh, dude. The tornado sirens, dude. So what if I do it here with 0, 0150, like 0, 015? It's like getting more repetitive. I'm just going to reset that. The sky was black. The clouds were dark. The wind was blowing. The rain was pouring. The lightning was flashing. The thunder was booming. The wind was blowing so hard that it was blowing my umbrella. All right, let's try something else. Um... But yeah, uh... <laughs> Lily! She just put a uh, AI-generated prompt into chat. Guys, if you want to do your own, share them. If you guys want to do your own AI-generated prompts, you are more than welcome to go to the Hydration Nation, go to Discussion 1 or Discussion 2, wherever. This channel's being used. Yeah. Go to, like, um... Go to, like, Discussion 1, 2, or 3. It doesn't matter. And, like, do, like, hashtag, uh, like, info kit. Or, like, hashtag prompt. And, like, I will, I will share the link here. Oh, no, I'll start a thread. I'll start a thread. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, info kit AI generated, uh, shenanigans. Hold on. Hold on. And boom. People. Share your AI generated texts here because I just thought about this. I only have a limited 1000 characters and I'm running out. So if there's something you really want to see that I don't have characters left to do, you guys can make it yourself. You can get your own 10,000 weekly characters and po post them here in the thread on um, Hydration Nation. Look at this. Lily's already here. So... Maybe, I don't know what part was, like, the prompt and what part is AI generated, so maybe make a distinction of that. But yeah, that's gonna be so funny. I see what's in chat, it's funny. She's gonna be so confused. <coughs> Afton really thought we would come back, but... Temperature makes it stray more from the original text. I'm just gonna go with the default, it's fine. <coughs> Alright. Afton really thought he would come back, but... One, two, three. I love how it's in capitals. It's like perfect. All right. I'm going to stop taking requests for a bit. <laughs> but no. Afton could not figure out what would happen. And no one tell her. She talked to the lady from Dog Agility, www.americamutt.org. And she said she had to keep working with the training that Afton. What the fuck? <laughs> that, uh, that Afton was doing and see if that made a difference. One thing that Afton knows for sure is that she is. Terrified of strangers. She walk up to them. But when she hits that telltale cough or sneeze. Oh, man. Dude, she's literally like, what the dog doing? Gold called Afton. You heard it here, guys. Leafy travels 2763 miles to 123. No, she doesn't have a dog on a leash. <gasps> Why is it on dogs again? The fuck? For the time of crap. Okay, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm going to start doing my own prompts. We're about halfway. I'm going to start doing my own. Okay. We're not strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Mark applied, did this, and it worked. Does, do you have to do the course? Never gonna give you up. Come on, I know for a fact that this works. 
I just wanted to show it off. I'll just go 100 carats as well. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. I'm living every line of those lyrics every day. And just as recently, my body began to change. I began singing the chorus of Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Dude, okay, let's let's try something else. Um, type some text here, and a neural network will generate more. <coughs> text view based on the input. For example, given the input image below, normal distribution, output. At this point, the above code runs and generates one image per character. For example, given... Okay, the fact that it is like... It actually, like, makes the space for an image, and it doesn't generate an image. is amazing. <coughs> Alright. Right. I love the stream so much, and it was still flowing after the dam. It, that was worth it to eating gold. Bruh. Okay, how about, um... How about, um... I'm trying to get creative, because I haven't thought of any myself. What if we did, um... The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. I can't fucking type, dude. AR test and is similar to, but tougher than the FFST. The FFST involves the measurement of maximal oxygen uptake, VO, or oxygen consumption by continuous measurement of the oxygen content of people. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright. Let me try something. Um. <clears throat> okay, we've got some characters left, and I'm actually not that imaginative. I'm gonna keep going with this one. Let's see if this goes any further. Yuletide cocktail? That's okay, at least he just makes sure he's doing the whole time, you know. <gasps> the fuck? I gotta see this. <gasps> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna copy paste this. I'm gonna put this in Lucy's DMs. Also, there's some even funnier stuff here. Prompt, Mr. Matt comes to help to Trooper and asks for help on a FNAF Max mode. Generate text. He did say he, they would put down the sentence of what is in with the details of how he got there, etc. But I find out that they gave it to Trooper, he was only here to tell FNAF what they were doing. Which tells me that they want to keep the case themselves. Or did they put it in Trooper's prayers folder? So if, if, so if I apologize for not knowing what that was, I'm not much for the praying thing. For those who might not know, Prez is an update of a game on Steam. A very good game that I highly recommend. And True Player loves it. I heard he's playing it all the time. It's literally talking about UCN. The fuck? <coughs> Ultimate custom light -like prayers update? Mom, I shit the bed and I'm really upset. <laughs> she continued in a second tweet writing, I thought I'd an aneurysm. Dude, these prompts. Big Chungus robs a bank in San Francisco. Shuggy? Shorbo and Shuggy? This is hilarious. You are not the one in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. You fool! <laughs> oh, I know exactly what to do. Also, I'm going to do this shot for you CDMs because it's all good. Um... <laughs> She's so confused. Look at that. She's so confused. Look how confused she is. Oh, boy. Okay. That just gave me an idea. Guys. Guys, this is how we get good prompts. Not that, not like that. I'm gonna actually remove the advertising ones because they're fucking annoying. No, come on, give me something good. I'll just go to the meet six page. All right, actually, you know what? That would be pretty funny. Uh, but first, I want to make sure I paste this into Lucy's DMs because it's hilarious. We do a little trolling. Um, let me, uh, let me, let me just try something though. Again, what the fuck is this? Hi, I'm Me6, the Discord bot. It's like a sexy version of Misty, but it's a bot, so it's not sexy at all. I guess I can. Why is this in block caps? What is Misty? Is this something that I shouldn't know about? 
misty. Oh, Madonna's such sexy. I mean, obviously it's a like adjective. Mystery romance. This drama is a crime suspense centering on a headstrong anchor woman who becomes a suspect in a murder case. Someone is down bad for a the anchor woman. Apparently, it's a Pokemon character who looks underage. I really hope it's not them. Okay, let's ditch that. <laughs> right, how many cards have we got left? Because I've been going between two tabs. <coughs> okay, less than half remaining. We gotta start getting good now. Oh jeez, Matt, what are you doing? Sans Undertale. Right, I'm gonna stop doing these prompts, Scratch. Uh, these are not very- Oh, wait, I- Wait, did I just prompt from nothing? I just prompted from nothing! The combination of these three moving parts gives the PC industry the spark it needs. Okay. Um, <gasps> oh, okay. I need to think. I need to really think of some good ones now. If I go to my uh, Me6 page, this shouldn't have any private information. But for those of you who don't know, there are a ton of different responses to the hydrate command. Uh, and I'm wondering... I'm wondering if it will take, like, a quote and then, like, alter it. Or follow it through. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. I want to see what it comes up with. And I'm actually I'm actually going to do it properly. Obi-Wan. Anakin. You underestimate my power. It's with a dash, right? I'm going to do this properly. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go off this. Let's see what happens. Don't try it! Anakin! It isn't a bluff! Obi-Wan, no. Anakin. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I forgot about the Force! Obi-Wan, I'd be a Vapor Rexus X-Lord, but I don't lose faith. I know that. I oh, Anakin just gave up. He turned that to the light side. Alright, let's try something else. Uh, I'm gonna get the original... Ah, oh, you know what? Nah. There's- I, I couldn't find one. The shepherd's boy says, there's a mountain of pure diamond. It takes an hour to climb it, and an hour to go around it. Every hundred years... It's not a little rain, it's a bird in the story. Let's see what that generates. A boy is born to the king of the dwarves, and he has to get the diamond to bring it back before he turns into a bad size way to someplace far away. <laughs> what the fuck? We need some, like, funny ones. We need some funny ones. <clears throat> I'm gonna try one. Knock, knock. Who's there? I just want to see what it comes up with. <coughs> it's Dexter! It's Dexter! What the fuck? Dexter, what the fuck? <gasps> what is this? What do these words even mean? Is this a reference? What the fuck? Sanctification. What the hell is it's Dexter? Like, yo? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh man, I've just, I was about to think, oh, I need to make some time for my own. And I actually have no ideas, so I'm willing to take suggestions again. That was actually like, not a oh my God, no, Ethan, no. I am so unimaginative. Oh, this one's not looking good. What we want is the fellow children. It gets even better. It gets even better. What we want is the fellow children. Please don't be... Don't go all pedo on me. I'm, I, I'm afraid of this one. I'm actually scared. Okay... Interesting. Okay, boys, boys, we got a Lucy update. Girlfriend update. Girlfriend update. She knows. She knows what's going on. She she knew the jig was up, so I gave up with this one. I've dropped that completely, and I've sent her the fan fiction. I've sent her the fan fiction. 
What is this? What? Oh, right, sorry, that's moderator only. Why am I showing that? That's a new Discord feature. I actually should probably check on that right now. Because uh, it's an experimental feature. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get back to the thread. Oh my god, people have done loads of these. Look at this! It just keeps going! <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't mean to show that off. Fuck, what am I doing? I just, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta send the girl the good stuff, guys. Yuletide cocktail in the hot tub. We gotta do that now. <laughs> uh, so this is what you know, Ethan's came up with. Whatever weirdness and the weirdness that a pregnant woman does, that all becomes invisible to a new life as a mother. So if she has strange cravings, she might find herself taking her meds or something. I don't know. Let me try something. Oh, here it is! Let me get a, a transcript. FNAF speech. Oh, yes. Yes. True ending of six, but I also want the Michael Afton. Um, can we get the... Uh... <coughs> Is this... No, that's not, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, he's British. Yeah. Uh, SL custom night. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I'm gonna put in the first few ones. His father told me that he did find out. Sorry, I'm gonna do this. Let's see how this looks. They even, they even asked me if I was your son. I told them yes, and they started to smile. They thought you were having a sleepover and that you wouldn't need any help. They called you, but you didn't pick up. You told me to call when you woke up, but I knew you were out on the road. It was too much to... ask you to leave the car in the middle of the night. It was obvious you wanted to help them. I, I would love to keep going, but carry the limit. Also, that is surprisingly accurate, because that's like, um... Um... That, that, that's like, you know, referencing like Midnight Motorist and stuff. Alright, let's try this. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you even still remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. Oh shit. No, no, it's generating from the wrong point. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm afraid you've been misinformed. I'm still the happy go looking guy that you saw running through the town all those months ago. Meeting with nice, ordinary people. Nothing weird or off in that. What's this about your mother? Oh! Lucy! Lucy, your AU is coming true. What the fuck? <laughs> Something I should tell you before anything else. I was just you something coming by them. I found. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh my god. I am copying. I, that is going to Lucy. Hold on. I know you won't have context for this, but it'll make sense to her. I hope she shares that with Olivia. <coughs> Boom, your mum joke. Jesus, Henry, this was just a child. So out of context, right? <coughs> Don't worry, Matt. I'll finish this fan fiction of you and Lucy myself. Ethan, can you take what I already sent Lucy? Like, I'll DM it to you. That's not weird. Can you put this in and then just use all the characters? Like, go, go full blast. I need you to you copy that specifically. Remove the, you know, re remove all of this shit I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, I tell you what. What happens if I just, like... I mean, first of all, let's try just... Key smash. Generates... <laughs> More key smash, which is quite funny. It's repeating for some reason. And then if I just hold shift and I key smash... 
So we've got symbols and letters in there. Wait, what? No, why is it at the start? Stop, oh my god. Dude. It just generates more random- I've been extra wanting to support his deli- Oh, it's because of that. It's- Oh, stop! Oh my god. It's because of that. Let's get rid of all this. Hold on a second. It's- it, I've screwed it over. And I'm running out of, um... Running out of demo, uh, characters. Okay. What if I just type numbers? Where do we go? One, two, three. One, two, three. Ninety-three people from twenty-nine countries were listed as Tomlinson Ottawa in 2016. Oh, I see. I see what it's doing there. What if I do, uh... Random number codes? What does that generate? More random number codes. Makes sense. <coughs> well, it keeps repeating stuff. I don't know. I think I might have missed a few prompts, but I, I, I don't wanna- I don't wanna do all these prompts. We've had more than enough FNAF references. Let's do some other references. We've had FNAF, we've had Star Wars. Why not? Um... Why reference anything? That's quite a long one, new book. We've only got a few characters left, so I, I don't know. <sighs> I like that, but I don't know. Matthew was guiding his fellow viewers towards the light. The... I'm gonna change the site. The holy glory of the hydration. I just... I, I, I want to keep the character limit shorter, and I think that's funnier. But I like what, you, what you've got going. The hydration gods? This is what it means to be alive. Oh my god. Guys. Guys. Matthew was guiding his fellow viewers towards the light. The holy glory of the hydration gods. This is what it means to be alive. Beautiful. If we die now, where will it be? On a cold stone bench? Buried with a lot of other people? On an open grave in a field? <laughs> okay, that took a dark twist. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, hi, welcome to my schoolhouse. I, I see what you're going for, and I was thinking the same thing, but I, I don't know. I want to do something really funny. I'm trying to think of a really original one. Um... Your mommy already loves me. So that's just out of context. Okay. Let's try this. Let me just think for a second. Because we're running out of time. <clears throat> um. The ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything is... Meaningless! Ben suddenly realized he was talking to himself. Hey, don't worry, dude. This is... Okay. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try something which is probably gonna be quite funny. L plus ratio plus uh, cope plus seethe plus fatherless plus um, doing your mum plus um, cry about it plus uh, ratio again. <laughs> Plus. Blue underscore- What the f- What the fuck? Persia was afraid of you! <laughs> Matt, don't, don't Matt, it's a waste, it won't continue. But how do you know that? It, you can see clearly it continued here. It's quite funny. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of something creative now. Because I haven't done much. Oh, you already tried that one? Oh. I haven't, like... Why do I not have more ideas? I, like, I have so few ideas compared to you guys. I don't want to waste characters, but you, you have better ideas than me. I need to really think, though. I need to really think about this. I don't want to waste this. We could do something really, really funny and really creative. Anyway, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, you have to see this. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Okay, I haven't read all of this, but I, I skimmed through that. He's still typing. I will check that out later. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here's a funny one. What if I took the URL and put it in? Uh, 
Is that a real link? I was gonna say. That's interesting. Ah, <coughs> oh, you gotta cry. Oh, little baby boho. Oh, yeah, that's the Minecraft thing. Oh. You're gonna cry, little baby boohoo. Let's do that. Let's see what that says. I'm here for you, and we both had an amazing day in the kiddie pool in the steam room. Hard to what? Hard to get kids out of the steam room. We took like, a couple of long walks in the boardwalks. I miss walking. <laughs> I miss walking. Sigma male grind set rule. Sigma male grind set rule eight. Whatever. Cut, what the? F what the fuck? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? It's just nonsense. Stupid. It's got Linux in there for some reason. What is this? What? <laughs> So confused, dude. All right, we have less than two thousand characters left to go. I want to start thinking big. What would be like a really good one? I need some inspiration. I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out uh, what people are putting on the hydration nation. But I'm also gonna look at Ethan's DMs. That's private. So, holy! Oh my God! Ethan's had to censor some of this. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read that at the end. I can see all that. I'm gonna read that at the end. <coughs> but yeah, there's some pretty funny ones on here. <coughs> oh wow, dude, I love I love the prompts. I'm not gonna. I'll show these off. I can show these ones off. So I just like Nuba, Frog Balloon, Lily. I love what you guys got going here. Like you see this? He got like uh, his father was a drug addict who never offered a decent hand to his son. Um, big chunks is a go cup, Mr. Matt, Joey, and 321 go. Prompt big funny. Did you know you tough these possible blood vessels in your skin to dilate? What the fuck? Alright. It was a time of great sorrow. Many had died, many more were sick or injured. <coughs> right, I'm gonna build this up to be really dramatic. I wanna see if it continues with that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hold on. Up to the clock. He knew it was time. Time for him to die! He told us that he had to die. He'd rather die fighting for a cause than live. Well, that actually sounds like Mark. Then live with his life unfulfilled. Markiplier thought the things he wanted to do with the money that he would make. It would help, he decided. He could help. He could save many lives. He would make sure. That's, that just unironically sounds like Markiplier. Tell me, we need to turn the sampling temperature up. That's going to make it crazy. Maybe the nuclear sampling down. Just an experiment. I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with the exact same thing that I use for the description. And I'm just going to see what, what it what it produces. <coughs> so that practically sound automated. Fight to this deep Russian clown bark. Two mean a really bad Star Wars sub brought light in a simulator where versus thinking situations for objects. Okay, that's broken as hell. Uh, let's get rid of this. And try that again with... Sublic temperature up. I still don't fully understand it. What if that's on one? Yeah, I don't know. It's uh... God. Uh, where do where are my, my ideas are gone? What if I type like an actual joke, something silly, like uh. I know. No way! 
No fucking way! Turiep, it we got a successful Turiep in chat. I don't know what to say. I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. I'm just gonna do it with George, and I'm just gonna like. I'm also nearly livid, but I'm going to need some place to store all this shit. I'm sure I can make three large cases of avocados disappear. But maybe I can't convince some loving partners to accept all the stuff we're trying to get rid of. There's too much. No one can handle it. Dude, this is going on to George Law. This is a verbose George be like. If you guys don't know what George Law is, you're missing out. This is the best, one of the best uh, servers I've been on. Verbose George. This is a verbose George Law moment. I'm just gonna put flabbergasted in like a... Uh, bold. Dude, we should do something with ambience. We should do a little trolling. I should like ping ambience with some auto-generated thing. What is this? I love a good meme. This is literally what I was parroting earlier. Oh, the studs. Oh, that's funny. True Jedi. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Um. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Hey, guys. Ambience here. Welcome back to FNAF Academy. Today, we will be... Talking about the character that we have met before on the Asylum Night. Let's talk about how Freddy killed you in the beginning. In fact, you did kill him and see the damage he caused. Do you... I uh, think there is something wrong with you for that. Quote, an omen reveals itself. <laughs> what? Okay, we're running very long characters, but I gotta, uh, I, I wanna see more of this. What the fuck? Can I excuse it was on you. <laughs> I am taking that. I am gonna, that, oh man. Hey guys, Ambience here. Welcome back to FNAF Academy. <laughs> all right, uh, for some reason it's doing this. Let's, I'm just gonna put this all in italics. That's so funny. That's so good. Also, I'm gonna copy paste out to Hydration Nation. Hey guys, Ambience here. Dude, I'm drawing tally, I'm nice. Okay, we are very low on characters. You probably shouldn't be showing this VIP lounge. Ah, whatever. I mean, I guess, but like the last message is me and like going on. I mean, eh, it's nothing. All right, I'm gonna look at Ethan Sing later. Right, let me think. Let me think. We don't have much left. We should do a YouTuber intro. What's going on, guys? This is Ryan here. And this is Bazingalam here. All right, keywords to include here. I'm going to actually use this feature. You have to include the word here. What's going on, guys? This is Ryan here. And this is... Kyle. <laughs> and this is Kyle. We have both noticed in the past, guys, the numbers were relative. Okay, that was boring. Um... <sighs> what to do? What to do? Last one, guys. This is the last one. I'm, uh, this be, whatever this is, it's going to be the last thing we generate. What would be funny? I'm so excited to see Ethan's prompts. Not in a weird sense, of course. Yeah, of course. But you're right, I probably should be showing VIP lounge, but whatever. It's, it's not much. Um... I mean, that's crazy. Okay, um... I'm trying to think here. This is the last chance we get, guys. Tell you what! Maybe we should save this for the end of the stream. Because 
as you can see, we've only been going for one hour, and I could very well end the stream here. You know, one hour, it doesn't need to be a long episode. I could just do a short little debate direct and end it here. However, there is something else that I have in mind. There's something which I've actually been meaning to do, something which you guys can engage with live. Last episode of Five Nights at Fan Games, I started playing a game called Cleanup Crew, the employee assessment demo. We didn't get very far, but so far the game has pretty much just been a t test, like a personality quiz. Uh, and it just asks a bunch of questions, a bunch of scenarios. And I think it would be interesting if I actually finish that first part of the game in this stream. Um, and so that we, you know, we can get through that game in a timely manner without it getting too repetitive. And maybe just have a chat about some of the questions here. So yeah, surprise guys. I was thinking to put this in the title. I'm going to do it now. This is a surprise. I'm going to do a plus FNAF quiz. This has been planned. And uh, yeah, you can find Cleanup Crew on Game Jolt. I'm going to link it in the description. <coughs> so yeah, now that we're at this point in the stream. Yes, I did uh, suggest this before. Um, the FNAF quiz. It's in this game, and I, I'm going to give it a go, just exclusively for this stream. I've got a bunch of notifications as well. But yeah, if you want to you wanna play Clean Up Crew for yourself, you can. Uh, now, I'm going to... Um, I'm, no, I'm actually going to close out the game. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go AFK for a few minutes. And I'm just going to get some, like, food, go to the toilet, do all that stuff. If you guys need to go AFK, you know, hydrate, stretch, tidy up, anything like that. Now is the time. Uh, I'm just checking uh, pings and stuff. <laughs> George, you legend. Guys, look what George replied with. Flabbergasted. <laughs> he sent the classic thing. Anyways. Um, prompt. I don't know what's happening. I should be showing this on the stream. I can check this later. I think I'm going to give a redo of uh, Ethan's thing. But yeah, I need to think of something really good for the last prompt. So I'm going to take the bandana off. I don't think I really need it right now. I'm just going to take the headphones off while I'm AFK. Uh, secret FNAF edition. Yeah, exactly. We're doing a surprise little FNAF quiz, guys, because it's debate direct. That kind of thing fits, and there's a lot to discuss, which I think would be fun for a bonus stream. So, yeah, surprise. Um, I actually was only going to do this if we didn't run out of time, and I wasn't sure. And holy shit, my hair has not looked this, like, straight in ages. I should wear a bandana more often. I should just always wear a bandana. Who needs product? Like, look at this. My hair is straight as hell. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. Give me like five minutes.
boys, I'm back, and I am ready to smack, and have lack of bitches. Oh, there's a good one. I should put in like, oh, why don't you go get some bitches? But yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I want to test it, make like a World War II reference or something. Do you all have stupid? That's the question to myself. I want to see, do I have stupid? I want to see if, like, how it corrects for, like, poor grammar. Next one will be the last. Okay, nothing. Yummy scrummy in my tummy. This is the end. What does it say? Me. Ugh, if it's good, I'll finally. <laughs> yes, we found something hilarious. I love this. Yummy, scrummy in my tummy. Me. Ugh, if it's good, I'll find a way to eat it. Ah, my tummy hurts. Me. I am so, so. I'm gonna finish off with this. So that's brilliant. I am so, so, so sick of being sick and tired. It's a part of my life, and unfortunately, a part of my life that I will never know how it ends. That, I think, seals the deal. That is going to be my final prompt. I don't know why, but I just had the idea of having lots of random rhyming words together would produce something funny, and it worked. That was, um... God, that was glorious. But that's it, guys. I'm all out of characters. I can't type anything anymore. If I just do a frowny face, I can't generate text. Zero characters, so... Basic plan to get 60,000 monthly characters is just $20 a month. That's zero 20. That's like 28 um, cents per 1,000 characters, which is a, a pretty good deal. And I would buy this if I was actually going to use this for anything. But I'm just doing this as a one-off stream to kind of show you guys the fundamental concept. And, uh, you know, just kind of tweak around with it like Markiplier did. I thought it was really interesting. Also, uh, I brought some food. I got some dry cereal as a snack. Pretty nice. Now. <coughs> oh boy. Two things. Number one. We haven't had any answers yet. So let's start talking about today's QOTD. How should we prepare for the evolution of artificial intelligence? I am planning to do another stream on a thing called Dal E Mini. Whoa. Okay. That's, that's Laos. Oh wow. Okay. Hi. Hey. Turn you down. I'm planning to do another stream, inspired by another Markiplier video, on a thing called Dal E Mini, where I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence in more depth. And that'll be in another debate direct, probably the next one. But as a precursor to that, I want to talk about this. How should we, as a species, prepare for the evolution of artificial intelligence? Because, you know, I don't think there's any doubt about it now. It's coming. AI is developing more and more every day. What happens when we get to the point where artificial intelligence is able to freely think and act independently just like human beings? When do we reach the point where you message someone online, you make a new friend on your Discord server, it's like, you know, some other user, you know, maybe uh, you've never voice called them, you've never seen them, but you know, you know a lot about them and you've become good friends with them. What happens when we get to a point where that person is actually an AI, indistinguishable from a real person? What happens when AI is able to generate text and write and imitate exactly like a human. Because that could be quite dangerous. And I think we need to be ready for the possibilities. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. And stay hydrated.